Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Today we're going to do refried beans. So what I've done is I've taken about, uh, oh, I'd say three or four pounds of pinto beans. And I just put them in a bowl and soaked them overnight in water. And then I put as much water as I had beans in the pot. A little bit of dehydrated onion. Um, a little bit of garlic. And I've been cooking them down. It's probably been about four and a half hours. So they're pretty much done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the stove up. And I'm going to boil the juices down. You don't want a whole lot of juice. But you want some so that you can mash it. I am going to use a little lard in making my refried beans. So let me cook that down and we'll get back to you when that's done. Okay, so let's finish off our beans. Let me tell you what I did. Sorry I didn't video it. I was really tired. So once the beans were done cooking, I cooked them about six hours, actually. Um, on about medium heat, with no salt. Don't add salt because it slows down the um, softening of your beans. And you just want to get these soft. Then I took an immersion blender. And you can use a potato masher. It doesn't have to be an immersion blender. And I just mushed them up. As you can see, most of the beans are mushed flat. There are a few whole beans. Not a big deal. I left just enough water in the pot to cover the beans prior to them being uh, mushed by the immersion blender. I added a half a cup of lard. So a half a cup of lard to four pounds of beans. Because everything tastes better with lard. And I actually used my homemade beef towel. It has a better flavor than the lard you buy in the stores. But you can use just regular old lard from the store. And then all I did was I put them in the refrigerator overnight to harden up some. And, uh, um, and then I just smeared them on the tray. Hopefully as they thaw and or heat up, they won't run off the tray. But we're going to find that out. I did that with beef bouillon and the beef bouillon ended up all over the floor. So, we'll see how this goes. I think this is going to be okay. I think it'll dry quick enough to not run. Now, a few questions I'm sure people are going to have. Uh, do you need to make your own refried beans? No. If you want to buy a number 10 can of refried beans and dehydrate them, go for it. I don't add salt to any of my dehydrated items because when you dehydrate foods, that salt turns back into granules. So, I don't like the little grains in it, so I don't add any salt. And then once this comes out, you can just break it into big pieces like they do in the can. Um, and you're done. So we'll, But I'll show you that when we get to it. So, soak your beans overnight. Boil your beans for about six hours. Drain off most of the water, except enough to cover the beans. Smash them, chill them, spread them on your trays, 125 degrees, and we'll see how long it takes. Okay, they dehydrated about 12 hours. As you see, they crumbled up really nice. And what was really interesting is on the plastic trays, watch this. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. They just slide right off. No mess, no cleanup. Very pleased with it. So there you go. Do your own dehydrated refried beans. Absolutely wonderful. We'll do some rehydration in a few minutes. Okay, so we got a half gallon and a quart. All I did was take a half a cup of boiling water and mix in about a half a cup, a little less, of rehydrated and dehydrated refried beans. They are perfect. Opened up a can of chicken. Added a can of chopped tomatoes to it. Some spices. Put it on flour tortilla. Sour cream and cheese. Mm-mm, good. Quick. And I'm trying to do this one-handed, so bear with me. And fast. Dinner. Roll her up. 
And there you go. Food storage made easy. Blessings.